So this question is set up like a simplified question. So let's keep that in mind. Um, most questions that are between one and three lines long and that contain either an expression or an equation are simplified questions. And all that means is that we're going to definitely need to simplify something in order to solve the question. So keep that in mind here. So what do we know? We know that f of x is equal to x, I'm sorry, f of x is equal to 5x squared minus 3, and that f of x plus a is equal to 5x squared plus 30x plus 42. Now this is very interesting because you could have just asked me, so you could have said, or the question could have said, hey, we're going to tell you that 5 or f of x is equal to 5x squared minus 3. And then we're going to ask you, well, what's the value of f of x plus a? If that was the question, we would know, hey, this x plus a here replaced this x there, which means x plus a must replace the x there. So f of x plus a would be 5 parentheses x plus a, it's close parentheses, to the second power, minus 3. Now that is something that I can simplify, right? So I can say, well, that's 5, and then x plus a times x plus a, and minus 3. I can FOIL these the, the, the product of the binomials here by doing x times x. So first of all, I have a 5 out there. So x times x is x squared. x times a would be ax plus another a times x is also ax. So that means I have 2ax. And then lastly, I have a times a, which is a squared, close parentheses, and minus 3. So to complete the simplification here, I'm going to distribute the 5 to each of the terms inside parentheses. And I'm left with 5x squared plus 10ax plus 5a squared minus 3. So that's what I would get, or that's what I would expect from f of x plus a. But the question tells me that f of x plus a equals this over here. So I'm going to use what I just found f of x plus a to equal. So 5x squared plus 10ax plus 5a squared minus 3, and I'm going to set it equal to what the question tells me f of x plus a equals, which is 5x squared plus 30x plus 42. Now, whenever I see a polynomial equaling another polynomial on this test, I use this, I, or I think about matching the two sides together. Um, so what do I mean by that? I mean that, well, this equal sign here means that the left side of the equation must be the exact same, equal to, equivalent to, the right side of the equation. So I'm going to look at term by term. So the x squared terms, I have a 5x squared on the left. I also have a 5x squared on the right. So those two things are equivalent. So there's nothing to, to do with those terms there. Now on the left, I have a 10 a x on the right I have a 30 x okay so that means in order for those two terms to be equivalent in order for me to have the same x term on both the left side and the right side that means that 10 a x must equal 30 x and here's how we're going to find our answer right so I'm going to divide by 10 x on both sides so the x's cross out, the 10's cross out, leaving me with just a on the left-hand side. And then on the right-hand side, 30x divided by 10x, the x's cross out, 30 divided by 10 is just 3. And there's my answer. a is equal to 3. So choice C.